Welcome to part 3 of Reservation Signs. If you haven't watched part 1 and 2 of Reservation Signs, you should do that first, before watching this episode. In this video we'll have a look at the reservation signs that display the letter, P. They indicate that a demarcated parking bay, or a parking area, is reserved for the exclusive use of the class of vehicle, or road user, indicated on the sign. They can also indicate in text, when certain conditions apply. Reserved parking can either be on-street or an off-street parking area. When parking is reserved on-street, the area reserved shall be demarcated by parking bay or exclusive parking bay road markings. When you use any parking bay or reserved parking area, you must do so in accordance with any road signs and road markings. Let's have a closer look at the parking reservation signs you will encounter on the road. This is a parking reservation sign that indicates that a parking area is reserved for exclusive use by any vehicle with a GVM, or gross vehicle mass, of less than 3,500 kg. No time limit applies to parking there, but a fee must be paid in relation to the duration of stay. Failure to pay the required fee shall constitute an offense. The sign can be found on portions of a public road, or other areas where parking bays have been demarcated on the roadway surface. If you are driving a vehicle that weighs less than 3,500 kilograms, and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area, if you prefer to do so, and on condition that you pay the tariff indicated at such parking area. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are driving a vehicle with a GVM that exceeds 3,500 kilograms, you may not park there at all. This is a parking reservation sign that indicates that a parking area is reserved for exclusive use by vehicles, with a GVM of less than 3,500 kg. Such parking may incur a charge, or be free. However, parking there is subject to a maximum duration of stay, as indicated by a time period on the sign. In this example, you may not park there for longer than 60 minutes. Failure to leave the area concerned, within the maximum time period stated, shall constitute an offense. The sign can be found on portions of a public road, or other areas where parking bays have been demarcated on the roadway surface. If you are driving a vehicle that weighs less than 3,500 kilograms, and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area, if you prefer to do so. On condition that you do not stay for longer than the time period indicated on the sign, and pay the tariff indicated at such parking area, if a parking fee applies. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are driving a vehicle with a GVM that exceeds 3,500 kg, or you need to park for a longer period of time, you may not park there, at all. This is a parking reservation sign for pedal cycles. The sign can be found on any road, or part of a road, but will normally be provided, off-street. When parking is reserved on-street for pedal cycles, the area reserved shall be demarcated by either parking bay or exclusive bay road markings. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by pedal cycles. If you are riding a pedal cycle and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area, if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are not riding a pedal cycle, you may not park there, at all. This is a parking reservation sign for motorcycles. The sign can be found on any road, or part of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by motorcycles. If you are riding a motorcycle and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area, if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not park there, at all. This is a parking reservation sign for motor cars. The sign can be found on any road, or part of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by motor cars. If you are driving a motor car and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area, if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not park there at all. 
This is a parking reservation sign for taxis, also known as cabs. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by taxis. If you are driving a taxi and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are not driving a taxi, you may not park there at all. This is a parking reservation sign for minibuses. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by minibuses. If you are driving a minibus and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not park there at all. This is a parking reservation sign for meaty buses. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by meaty buses. If you are driving a meaty bus and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not park there at all. This is a parking reservation sign for buses. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by buses. If you are driving a bus and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not park there at all. This is a parking reservation sign for tour buses. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road, especially in areas where there are tourist attractions or at stations and airports. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by tour buses. If you are driving a tour bus and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are not driving a tour bus, you may not park there at all. This is a parking reservation sign for delivery vehicles. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by delivery vehicles. For example, at the service area for a block of shops or a large shopping center. If you are driving a delivery vehicle and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are not driving a delivery vehicle, you may not park there at all. This is a parking reservation sign for goods vehicles. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by goods vehicles. If you are driving a goods vehicle and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not park there at all. This is a parking reservation sign for goods vehicles that exceed an indicated GVM or GCM. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road where parking is reserved for use by goods vehicles that exceed a certain mass or weight. The mass indicated on the sign in tons refers to the GVM, short for gross vehicle mass, and the GCM, short for gross combination mass, of a goods vehicle. This means the overall weight of a goods vehicle itself, including the weight of the load it's transporting, plus the weight of anything that it's hauling or towing. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by goods vehicles with a GVM or GCM that exceeds the weight as indicated in tons on the sign. 
In this example it means that if the overall weight of your goods vehicle, together with the weight of the load it's transporting, hauling, or towing, is heavier than 10 tons, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area, if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are driving a goods vehicle that weighs equal to, or less than the indicated mass, in this example, 10 tons or less, or any other type of vehicle, you may not park there at all. This is a parking reservation sign for construction vehicles. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road, especially in areas where there are mining or industrial activities taking place. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by construction vehicles. If you are driving a construction vehicle and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are not driving a construction vehicle, you may not park there at all. This is a parking reservation sign for vehicles transporting dangerous goods or hazardous substances. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road, especially in areas where there are mining or industrial activities taking place. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by vehicles transporting dangerous goods. If you are driving a vehicle conveying dangerous goods and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are not driving a vehicle transporting dangerous goods, you may not park there at all. This is a parking reservation sign for abnormal vehicles. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road, especially in areas where there are mining or industrial activities taking place. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by abnormal vehicles. If you are driving an abnormal vehicle and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are not driving an abnormal vehicle, you may not park there at all. This is a parking reservation sign for high occupancy vehicles. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road, especially on roads that carry high volumes of traffic. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by high occupancy vehicles, meaning vehicles carrying more than a certain number of seated occupants. In this example, 12 or more persons, as indicated by a number displayed on the sign. This includes the driver, together with the number of seated passengers. Note that vehicles transporting persons in the load box or on the back of a vehicle are not regarded as high occupancy vehicles. It only applies where persons are seated on seating provided inside the passenger compartment. Where parking is reserved for high occupancy vehicles, it will not be necessary to use multi-symbol signs, since high occupancy vehicles, by definition, may include all vehicle classes with the indicated number of seats occupied. If you are driving any vehicle, carrying the number of persons as indicated on the sign, or more, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area, if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are driving any vehicle with a lower number of seated occupants, in other words, in this example less than 12 persons, you may not park there at all. This is a parking reservation sign for emergency vehicles or ambulances. The sign can be found on any road or a part of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by emergency vehicles. For example, at a casualty handling facility at a hospital. If you are driving an emergency vehicle and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are not driving an emergency vehicle, you may not park there at all. This is a parking reservation sign for police vehicles. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by police vehicles. 
for example, at a police station or other security facility. If you are driving a police vehicle and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area, if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are not driving a police vehicle, you may not park there at all. This is a parking reservation sign for authorized vehicles. In this example, reserved for diplomatic vehicles. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by authorized vehicles, as indicated by a crest or logo displayed on the sign. In this example, Diplomatic Corps. If you are driving an authorized vehicle and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area, if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are not driving a vehicle, as authorized by the logo or crest on the sign, you may not park there, at all. This is a parking reservation sign for disabled persons' vehicles. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by disabled persons' vehicles. Note that such vehicles only include those of a disabled person or a driver of a motor vehicle conveying disabled persons, which motor vehicle is issued with a sticker or disc for conveying disabled persons. If you are driving a disabled person's vehicle and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area, if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are not driving a disabled person's vehicle, you may not park there, at all. This is a parking reservation sign for rickshaws. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road, especially in areas where there are many tourist attractions. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking bay or parking area is reserved for exclusive use by rickshaws. If you are pulling a rickshaw and you encounter the sign, you may use the demarcated parking bay or enter the reserved parking area, if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not park there at all. There are also reservation signs, which indicate parking areas that are shared between different classes of vehicles, especially for public transportation vehicles. Let's have a look at some of them. This is a parking reservation sign for buses and minibuses. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking area is reserved for exclusive use by buses and minibuses. If you are driving a bus or a minibus and you encounter the sign, you may use the reserved parking area if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not park there at all. This is a parking reservation sign for buses and minibuses. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking area is reserved for exclusive use by buses and minibuses. If you are driving a bus or a minibus and you encounter the sign, you may use the reserved parking area if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not park there at all. This is a parking reservation sign for buses, minibuses, and minibuses. The sign can be found on any road or part of a road. The purpose of the sign is to indicate that a parking area is reserved for exclusive use by these types of vehicles. If you are driving a bus, a minibus, or a minibus, and you encounter the sign, you may use the reserved parking area if you prefer to do so. However, you are not compelled to park there. If you are driving another type of vehicle, you may not park there at all. This concludes reservation signs. I'm excited to hear from you in the comments, and please don't hesitate to ask any questions you might have. I'm always happy to answer and clarify things for you. As usual, I'll leave important links in the description below the video too. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.